What's up there, comic book fans? It's the Dave Knows Cox live stream. You're back here, and I hope everything is doing good. And we're back for yet another Dave Knows Comics live stream. But this time, it's the Gauntlet Match. Best comic book movie of all time. Which comic book movie do you like the best? That's what we're going to get into. Now, this list, we're going to give everybody a chance to sign in or give some time for people to sign in because we're looking to see what is going to be the number one. Now, this is similar to our worst comic book movie uh, list, Gauntlet Match, but what if, what just, but uh, let's say hello to everyone chat yo samurai productions hi there katie martin good to see a smiley cat yes i'm hyped for this too buddy uh this one's gonna be uh harry flynn hi what are you doing there harry a uh, base of 12 says spider-man 2 is the right answer really says base of 12 hey yo there you go that's more like it harry confuse me for a second um Okay, so here's here's the option here. Uh, the reason why this is going to be a little different from the worst comic book movie is, first of all, I think there's really a handful of contenders that actually have a shot at this, where I feel that a whole plethora of bad comic book movies exist that I was really surprised who it could be. Uh, this, I really expect it to come down to just a small handful. There's like one of three possibilities I think it's going to be. If it's anything other, I'm going to be very shocked. What's up, Rado Razo? Um... But bearing all that in mind, um, I will say that I have more than just uh, three movies because I just, you know, want to see that maybe I'll be pleasantly surprised. But in all honesty, I really do expect it's going to be one of two, one of three possible movies, really two. Um, I think it's going to come down to this. So let's see what is going on so uh base of 12 says that spider-man 2 is the correct answer okay well maybe it's here maybe it's not um but we'll find out so let's uh hang tight yes and samurai reductions interested in see the choices ah ray dorazo uh says joker um interesting now of course like last time maybe i did not necessarily think of all of them maybe i don't have all the choices set that you might want to see so we'll just find out uh maybe we're gonna have to do a, another round of this uh just like with the worst comic book movie of all time maybe maybe uh there's too many left off the table and we're just gonna have to do this again um but yeah so let's give everyone a chance to file in thank you for the like i uh, do appreciate it so uh let's get talking about it. now so just to go over the rules again we're gonna do two movies facing off and between those two you're gonna vote for which one you think is the best movie the one that is the loser leaves town and the winner stays and then the new movie comes up we'll do this until we cycle through all the movies i have presented today whichever one wins will be designated the winner the final one and again as i said i i expect this to come down to one of like two maybe three possible options uh we'll find out which ones you guys are uh digging at the end of this and of course i might not have the one you're hoping for so perhaps I'm, we're gonna have to do this again uh, but nothing wrong with that okay so um yeah so how's everybody doing let's uh just talk and set up while everybody is filing in and give everybody a chance to join um oh and also uh let's change the rule we're also going to change the rules up a little bit too um or not so much change the rules but i am going to make this go a little quicker i'm not going to hold out as much i'm going to start moving this around a little bit faster um to get the voting on so also by the way uh yeah have any friends who might want to partic uh, participate please uh let them know tell them to come on to the chat let's try to get as many people here you're pretty good today okay samurai productions is good today how about the rest of you how's everyone else doing i would really like to know how how your sunday's treating you um so yeah, I'm going to try to move this a little bit quicker around because, again, this is really good. I, I'm pretty sure I already know the answer to Like, I don't think there's a lot of options here. Base up, we missed you on Friday. Ah, base up 12 was... Oh, you were being sarcastic, Harry. Caught that. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to give it uh, just a, another minute or two just to let uh, continue to let people come on on and get participating in the votes. So... Um, I am curious to know what you guys vote, and so even though I'm I'm fairly positive I know what's going to win, 
or at least one of the two options that are going to win. I'm curious to know about the preliminary rounds between what and what um, you guys are going to vote for. So that's what I'm actually ultimately curious about um, more than anything else because that... Um, so even though I may not necessarily want, uh, may not necessarily uh, be completely invested in all of um, all of these picks as as potential winners, I am um, just curious to know where you guys stand on some of these. Okay, so base up twelve says, okay, quick question, wrestling news for you, did you hear about? Yes, I did. I I did base up twelve. I did. Um, I did. Uh, base up was there on Friday. He meant because of all the timeouts base up kept being put in. He was being sarcastic, which is very funny, by the way, Harry. <laughs> I actually think that was a pretty good burn. <laughs> I'm not sure if you got him. Okay, so uh, we ready to go. Yeah, you want to just get on into this? And again, thank you for the likes. Thank you for all the thumbs up. Really does uh, help out, and I do appreciate it. Um, so we ready to just get this? Uh, we ready to get this gauntlet match started? Are we ready? Already, I want to hear it. Yeah, like I said, you got any friends who might want to participate in this game? Please let them know so they could jump on in. Um, and again, since I really expect this to come down to a small amount, um, a lot of the beginning, if the, if people are joining us as we go, it's really not the end of the world because I'm pretty sure the early bouts are not <laughs> the er, the early content. Some of the early contenders are not going to win per se. Um, but again, you never know. You might be surprised. Hmm. Another way this differs from the comic book, uh, the worst comic book movie, was that I actually hadn't seen a bunch of the worst comic book movies. Where this one, on the other hand, I have actually seen all of these movies. Everything up for contention today, I've actually watched. So that also kind of helps. I, I can be a little more, I can have a little more of a, I can participate a little bit more. Where the worst comic book movie, I was just going by, by, uh, by guess for some of them, or just being able to be a facilitator, but not really being able to make any kind of contribution. Okay, so, um, we ready to go? We ready to do this? We, uh, is it, is it go time? We ready to make this happen? Yeah? Yeah, yeah? Okay, let's go. Okay, so first movie, up for bets. The first movie is First Class, as an X-Men First Class. Why not start this as the movie? Um... I like this film per uh, particularly a lot. It's actually my favorite X-Men movie ever. Um, again, I'm starting off with this because I don't actually expect anyone to... I don't expect this to win the whole thing, but because I think it's a very solid film, I thought it actually deserved uh, a chance to uh, contend here. Um, then also, we have going against First Class. Let's go with another first. 1989 Batman, the Michael Keaton film, the first Batman film, not including the weird campy one from the 60s. Talking about Michael Keaton's Batman versus X Men First Class. Uh, cast your votes now for which of these two films you actually think is better. Yeah, I really like First Class too. Is again, I love this movie. It's my favorite X Men movie of all time. But yeah, I don't expect it to win. Um, <laughs> um, but and neither do, do I expect the uh, Michael Keaton Batman film to win either. Um, but it's a classic after all. Um, that. Okay, so wow, two votes for First Class right away. Um, so, like, the Michael Keane film is an absolute classic. Wow, look at... Oh, Harry Flynn never saw First Class. Okay, so we have three votes for X-Men First Class, Batman 89. Kind of surprising, yeah. Um, I put it up there just because it's the OG... Again, except for the 60s one. Uh, it started the it started a big boom in comic book movies. It did a lot for the industry. Uh, create you know, is responsible for the creation of Batman the Animated Series in a lot of ways. So with that being said, these two films, um, while they may be in the early rounds, I actually think there's more of a you can build a better case for both of them being the best film of all time, a comic book film of all time if you if you really think about it. Um, but, okay, so Harry Flynn, one vote for Batman, because he never saw First Class. Uh, there you go, Harry Flynn, it's pretty good. You should give it a chance. You really should. I, I, as I said, it's my favorite X-Men movie there is. Uh, Raider Ross goes for First Class. Another vote for First Class. Spotty Cat says Keen's Batman was incredible, but gotta go with First Class. So five points to one First Class. Uh, going over Batman. Uh, looks pretty six with Justin Lewis. Uh, Justin Lewis was fair to warn me over on the Twitter machine. I've been warned said don't want to conjure their anger uh we'll say our first class was a prequel done right yeah <laughs> and then ignore, ignore all the sloppy parts of x-men that nobody wanted to talk about it's like hey what about this shut up <laughs> wasn't emma frost in x-men oranges Wolverine? shut up 
What did we tell you about that? <laughs> yeah, that was first class for you. Uh, didn't Professor X say he met like Magneto when he was 17? Shut up. I swear, you remember. Any more continuity? Meeting you. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I almost wish they could, like, see, I kind of wish it wasn't, uh, I wish it was a full-on reboot instead of a prequel, because I kind of wish the first class really did have um, uh, Cyclops in it, um, instead of having, even though I like having better, I kind of wish they had, uh, you know, Cyclops, I wish they had Jean Grey, and so on and so forth, uh, but, you know, it's cool, is there a mercy rule? Uh, well, yeah, I kind of think this is a ploy right now at this point in time, all right, so, um, Magneto coin see, yes, uh, but don't, no spoilers, because uh, Harry Flynn has not seen it yet, but yes, I know what you're talking about, um, but yes, that scene was very, very strong, so, um, all right, I think it's uh, fair to say, uh, Wow, I'm pleasantly surprised. I did not think it would get trounced this badly, but uh, Batman, yeah, out of here. So Batman is out of here. Michael Keane and Jack Nicholson, can't forget him. Uh, Batman, 1989, uh, one vote, but uh, you're out of here. X-Men First Class, Reign Supreme. Uh, it, I'm already pleasantly surprised that X-Men First Class has survived the first round. So I'm already impressed by that. So uh, very good for that one. Okay, but let's see if it can defeat... First class, X-Men first class, let's see if he can survive another round against some new competition. New competition in the name of... Black Panther. Now, I've even talked about this film over on the wrestling channel. You guys know um, how much of a fan. More comic book movies. Ah, yes, that's right, Game Tech. Positives this time. So, welcome, Game Tech. So, um, yeah, you guys know about how much of a fan I am of this movie, too. Uh, so, Black Panther is up here. Um... Revolutionary movie, revolutionary movie in a lot of ways. Done a lot of good. Um, whoa, one vote for for first class. One vote for Black Panther. Um, the cameras flip, so in case you're wondering how come I put the wrong hands up, it's because that's what it is on my side. Just in case you're wondering, so I'll try to be better. Um, all right, two votes for Black Panther. One vote for first class. First class. All right, I'll, I'll try to flip it around. But in case you always wonder why in my face, I can't decide. Draw for me. No base of twelve. Uh uh. Uh, no, 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 no. No neutrality. You got a pick. Okay, uh, three for Black Panther. Justin Lewis also votes for Black Panther. I liked its theme. <laughs> Is that what you're basing this on? Five votes for Black Panther. Yeah, I kind of thought this was going to go this way. Uh, I didn't think first, first Class has no chance on this one. Uh, first Class, because I enjoyed slightly more. Still waiting for a base of 12. It's five to two. Actually, if uh, we have a chance here. Um, first Class might survive past this one. Um, interestingly enough, both films do, surprisingly, when you think about it, have to do with, um, so, with has, has to do with civil rights and social justice in a roundabout way. Uh, for X Men, it's Black Panther. It's right. It's right there. But X Men, you, you gotta dig the allegory. But yeah, it's the same thing. So interestingly enough, both do have uh, both do have that somewhere in the subtext of the plot. Uh, but even though X Men First Class, it's not as it's an allegory with mutants. It's actually more on the forefront. It's more obvious about it. Where Black Panther, it's more of a secondary feature of the film. I, I think it's not the primary focus of the plot. It's a secondary, but and a strong secondary. But I don't. But to me, um, that's what's the interesting part about it. So uh, both have to do with it. Yeah, yeah. Flip a coin. There you go. Black Panther. Oh, uh, six. Six to two for Black Panther, and welcome Ron Hawthorne, good to see you. Ran right in and voted, didn't even bother saying hi. I like it. Uh, don't worry, you guys only missed one vote, uh, if you're just joining us now. Uh, fine, first class because Black Panther is gonna win anyway. Alright, well, there you go, base up, sticking, base up 12 sticking up for the little guy. So that's three votes for first class, and uh, six for Black Panther. I love the concept of the Afrofuturism, yes, I do too. Um, and first class failed to not... Uh, kill its only... <laughs> uh, ouch. <laughs> um, well, the Afrofuturism, I do like to, and I remember thinking that was, like, from the very beginning, I was very, very, like, confused as to how they would possibly portray Wakanda on live-action film, because I was like, what do you do with that? Especially since in the comic books and in the video games and even some of the cartoons, Wakanda wasn't played as cool as that. It's It was more... Like, I'm not a big architecture guy, so I don't know how to describe it, but if you look at it, it was like, I don't want to say, like, more royal looking, but, I mean, it, it, but it was more, like, sleeker buildings, like, they, they almost more, more like, kind of, like, Asgardy. you know, as I said, I'm not the best, I have no idea what I'm talking about architecture-wise, but it always looked kind of like that, older, and, and so I was like, eh? 
But then when they saw the movie, it's like a full-on city, and it's very and it's and it's what a a country with this technology would look like, and it was more futuristic looking. I'm like, oh, because <laughs> like, you know, initially I was like, are they gonna go with that like old school where everything looks like old timey and stuff like that? Because that wouldn't work for me. But anyway, uh, Raina Raina would choose Black Panther. Uh, he hates that movie, which I don't know why. To this day, I have no idea why Raina hates that movie. It's but yes, uh, yeah, exactly. There are other features of of the movie, Ron. So I thought that was pretty good. Uh, am I the only one that likes the Punisher movie? Which one? Which one? Multiple. Dolph Lundgren. Or uh, Thomas Jane. Or, um... Man, I can't remember the other actor's name. Ray something. Because uh, I actually like Warzone the best. Is it is it like a dumb B movie? Yeah. Do I care? No. It's just grotesquely violent, and which is that's really how I view the Punisher. Uh, anyway, I loved it, but we well, we don't know if it's gonna be. Uh, uh, spoiler warning: uh, no Punisher movies on here. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so uh, that being said, um, all right, vote to six to three. Vote actually came pretty close. Uh, any other votes? Let me know. Uh, now I'll give you yeah Warzone yeah Warzone okay no Warzone I love Warzone that's the one you were talking about yeah I love that movie all right so I think it's pretty safe to say Black Panther won this round so uh, X Men First Class you are out of here all right so Black Panther up Black Panther now in the hot seat um so what's going on we don't uh, so yeah sorry to tell you that it's not gonna be on here okay so now Ah, first class, dethroned by the king of Wakanda, Black Panther. Uh, great movie, as I said. You guys know how much I love this movie because uh, I, I found a way to I found a way to squeeze it into the combo channel. And really, no purpose, but I'm like, I'm gonna talk about this movie. I'm gonna find a way. All right, but so while the king of Wakanda, Black Panther, T'Challa, has defeated X Men First Class, can he defeat? <gasps> X-Men, Days of Future's Past, that's right, you thought the X-Men were out of here, no, the X-Men are back with Days of Future Past, Ray Stevenson, that's it, hey there, Craig Daniels, you only missed two votes, don't worry, welcome to the show, we're doing a call in match, you vote on which of these two movies you like the best, the winner stays on, the loser leaves, until there is only one movie left to be declared the greatest comic book movie of all time, and in case you haven't seen the, in case the movie you like isn't here, maybe we're just gonna have to do another round of this, maybe we're gonna have to do a second episode, just let me know, okay, so so, yes. All right. So, Days of Future Past versus Black Panther. Cast your votes now. Uh, that's hard. Yeah. Well, I bet you think this is going to be easy. Um, okay. One vote for Black One vote for Black Panther. Yeah. Again, it's flip, flip you for real. Uh, the screen's flipped for me. So, in case I keep holding up the wrong fingers and you're getting confused, uh, that would be why. Uh, so, one vote for Black Panther. Two votes for Black Panther. Had a better message. That's fair. Like, there was definitely that... There is definitely a, a, a there's definitely a message behind Black Panther where like Days of Future Past is just cool, but it's really cool. You know, maybe the message for Days of Future Past is the dangers of time travel. I don't know. Um, and I don't want. I'm not. I'm gonna. Um, let me see. Um, I love Quicksilver, but I love uh, Black Panther uh, too. Can't decide again. Yeah. Well, hey, it's gonna be hard. Okay, three votes for Black Panther. Samurai Productions comes in with that. Katie Martin says, Days of Future's Past. I love the Quicksilver scene. Uh, Wakanda forever for for Ron Hawthorne. Nice. Well said. Uh, vote for Black Panther. So that's five from Craig Daniels. Five votes for Black Panther. One vote for Days of Future's Past. Ray Dorazzo says, yeah, better character was acting days, uh, better CGI in Days of Future. Well, Days of Future Past wins. Um, yes. Um, Ray Dorazzo, what's your vote for? For specifically, I'm not clear on that. Uh, v Infuso, welcome to the chat. V V is voting for Days of Future Past, and yes, better CGI. I forgot to mention that, but yes, uh, that is one major strike that people do have with Black Panther, and justifiably so, as it's a CGI for Black Panther, especially during the later fight scenes, definitely subpar, which is surprisingly subpar. Um, Smiley Cat says, Days of Future Past was stunning. However, Black Panther was slightly better, in your opinion. So Smiley Cat says. Six uh, to Black Panther, and all right, Black Panther because uh, it didn't because <laughs> you didn't like Kitty Pride just getting another random new power. It was similarly based off of what happened in the comic book Days of Future Past. Okay, 
Uh, seven votes for Black Panther. This is seven, not two. Um, Quicksilver scene. Yes, that is a big thing. Is one for Black Panther. So Black Panther. Okay, so another vote for Black Panther. Hey, it's a social injustice war. V. So eight. Yes, V. Welcome to the chat. Welcome. As good to see you as always. So I believe we're up to eight uh, for uh, Black Panther and two for Days of Futures Past. Uh, just to be clear, we're talking about the Rogue Cut. Um, either or, whichever one you preferred. Jakivas. Panther, uh, wrong, wrong movie, Harry. <laughs> um, let's see. Okay, I think we got another. We got another. Uh, I, I think we know where we're going with this. Uh, if you ever get the chance, watch the uh, unenhanced fight scenes. Far su super. Um, I didn't know you could watch those. Um, oh, superior. All right. Hey there, double A. Hello. What game are we playing today? Today the game is. Best comic book movie gauntlet match. We're getting two comic book movies going side by side. You vote for which one you like better. The winner stays on and the loser leaves town until there's only one comic book movie remaining. Um, that's okay, but uh, you didn't miss too many votes. This is only like the third vote, I think. Um, so you really didn't miss that much. And um, the first round really, the first two movies really had no chance. Um, as I specified, so I, I, I'm not... You really the first two the first two movies were Batman eighty nine and X Men First Class and as classic as they are and as much as I love and I particularly love X Men uh, First Class I knew it wasn't gonna win it's just I just put it up there for my own reasons uh, V says love Black Panther but Days of Future Past is definitely a better film and a better comic book movie that's an interesting point which one is the better comic book movie too V's looking at from which one is the comic book movie and X Men Days of Future Past well. Wakanda definitely has that sci-fi feel to it, and as we mentioned, James Bond. Uh, X-Men Days of Future's Past has freaking time travel in it, and all kinds of, you know, that kooky Terminator nonsense, so that there is a point. But, uh, with the eight votes, Black Panther is looking to be stealing the win, so, but I am gonna let, uh, hang, let this hang just a little bit longer, just so, um, just a so double A can get, get the vote in, and other people who were getting vote. Jakivas, I didn't see your actual vote yet, and, uh, Smiley Cat, I'm not 100% sure. Okay, so Days of Future Pass, oh, time is up, um, well, okay, uh, X-Men Days of Future's Past, not tying this up, sorry, uh, getting closer to a tie. X-Men Days of Future's Past, halfway behind Wakanda, uh, Black Panther 8. Uh, um, let's see, I was going to say, I wonder, what are they calling the second Black Panther movie? Do we know yet? What's the title? Because I was... And who's the bad guy? So many rumors. Days of Future's Past, also for Harry Flynn, so that's 5 to 8. This is actually getting closer than I thought. I, like I said, main problem was Kitty without explanation in the movie itself as to how she got it. That's fair. She, they didn't explain it in the movie, but it is hard getting back to the comic books. But score of 5 to 8. Um, Black Panther's still in the lead, um, but caught up a little bit, X-Men. You, 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 did, you did better than I thought. I'm um, going to let this go for another minute or so, but I'm pretty sure uh, Wakanda Forever is still going to reign supreme. Uh, now that you said Wakanda Forever, you got me wanting to just shout it constantly. It's it's one of those things. Um, okay, so Days of Futures Pass. Uh, valiant comeback, but looks like looks like you're not getting there. So I think we're ready to move on. I'm just going to give it uh, just a little more time before we move but it seems like we know who the victor is on this round. All right, so if you have any votes, definitely cast it now. Um, there are 13 people in the stream, 8 to 5. 15 people. I'm ahead of you. Okay, so, well, all right, so 8 to 5 on that one. So, unless I counted wrong, but either way, um, I don't think I counted wrong. But Days of Futures Pass... You go into the past. Black Panther wins this round. Okay, all right, next up. We have another one. Uh, you know what? You know what? I'm going to do you a solid base of 12. This actually wasn't a part of the... I had this planned, but I didn't think it had any chance, so I didn't incorporate it. But we're going to do one just for you. Spider-Man 2. Um, I had it loaded up. There's there's like additional there's like a few additional movies that I had ready to go, but I was like, nobody's gonna vote for this. Uh, Spider-Man 2 was actually one of them. Um, I love Spider-Man 2. It's my fav one of it's it's my favorite Spider-Man movie 
possibly it's it's between one of the two movies that's my favorite Spider-Man movie of all time. Uh, your gimmick is only oh man, what are you talking about, Dave? I never freeze. I never freeze. <laughs> Did anybody else really love uh, seeing T'Challa on uh, Saturday Night Live when they when they did that? Because I was just I was just thinking about I was just thinking about that now. Um, okay, so one vote Game Tech Black Panther. So Spider Man, um, oh Spider Man, uh, and Black Panther one one. Uh, Base of twelve did it just for you. So I wasn't originally putting it in here, but I decided to do it. But now. I don't know why Harry just... I know you were quoting the movie. For some reason, I'm thinking the SNL skit, what, um, and I just can't stop thinking about it. That I changed the cult. Uh, you changed the cult, true? That's what he says. Okay, Spider-Man 2 was the strongest in the Raimi-verse, and vote for this round. Smiley Cat votes for Spider-Man 2. So, wow, Spider-Man 2 is in the lead. I never freeze. Put something completely unnecessary, like raisins. In the potato salad. I've seen that before. Racist potato salad. It's gross. Why would people do that? Spider-Man 2 is a samurai, a samurai Productions. I think I might have to go with Spider-Man 2. But begrudgingly... Whoa! Spider-Man 2 got more... He stole that guy's pizzas! Love Spider-Man 2. In the movie, these... Man, maybe I am wrong for not including this. Uh, I love this movie, but, okay, um, so, love Spider-Man 2, saw this, and vote for Spider-Man, okay, Dale Santiford, hey, welcome, uh, vote for Spider-Man 2, um, well, Harmon, but I appreciate Spider-Man 2 as a film more than Black Panther, wow, okay, so, wait, one vote for Black Panther, let me recount this, because this is not going the way I thought at all, Smiley Cat says one, for, says, Spider-Man 2, um, Spider-Man 2, Spider-Man 2, Spider-Man Spider-Man 2, Spider-Man 2, Spider-Man 2, Spider-Man 2, Spider-Man 2, Bay Bay, 8 to 1, Spider-Man 2, Ron Hawthorne, and 10, 10, Dave Wonder, I did, I loved, dude, I love this movie, I just thought it was one of those things that I love, it was like first class, and I, okay, I'm telling you, we're voting for Spider-Man 10 over Black Panther, but not X-Men Days of Future Past. This is all weird, yeah. Because I was worried that Spider-Man 2 was considered dated. Like, it was it was the best comic book movie of its time when it came out. For me. I thought it was easily the greatest superhero movie of all time when it came out. It blew everything else away. Um, but I was worried that in today's day and age people wouldn't hold up to it, especially since people don't talk about it as much, but okay. Um, I remember playing Spider-Man 2. Spider-Man 2, the game was the best one, so man. It, it, well, I did a video on that on this channel already, but yes, Spider-Man 2 is one of my favorite video, Spider, uh, superhero video games ever. Um, uh, so, the, it's really, okay, yes, yeah, so this was a thorough. I was not expecting. It's all about Jonah Bay Bay. Wait, am I the only one who voted for Black Panther? Yeah, apparently you are. Spider-Man 2 is the reason we have superhero movies today. Wow. Base up. I never thought I'd say this. But thank you. You were right. My apologies. Hats off to you. Okay. Um, you are the reason to see your belly throws in Spider-Man 2. Spider-Man doesn't want to be famous. And I'll make him infamous. All right. Um, wow, pleasantly surprised on that one. Uh, I, Black Panther, I didn't think was going to win, but I thought it was going to be the one to be... I thought this was going to be like Green Lantern for the worst movie where it just hung on forever and everybody just felt felt Black Panther. But no, Spider-Man 2 actually got the win for this one. As you can see, like I didn't have a lot... I wasn't going to put it up there. I didn't even... like This This was the closest poster I could find. It, it was also a pain trying to find this as a poster. Um, so like it doesn't even have the name of the movie or nothing in it. It was just kind of there. Um, okay, but yeah, there we go, thorough, all right, um, Spider-Man 2, um, so if you're just joining us, this is the comic book, best comic book movie gauntlet of all time, where two movies go at it, you vote for which one of the two is your favorite, the winner stays on, and the loser leaves, and we keep doing this over and over again with new contenders until there is only one left, which is determined as the greatest comic book movie there ever was. Okay, so surprise entry, surprise run and entry with Spider-Man 2, based on the, the uh, okay, but you know, social justice warrior in the house. He is in the house. Look closely. Doc is in Spider-Man's eyes. That is true. You can see the reflection of Dr. Octopus in Spider-Man's eyes. Yes. Um, anyone also think this is a weird shot because you got Kirsten Tunst being held on, holding on to Spider-Man, but, like, they're clearly web-slinging, right? But yet her hair's not, like, blown in her face or anything. She's just kind of there. Uh, the greatest Spider-Man... 
the greatest villain is in Spider-Man 2. Dr. Octopus, a genius villain, Spider-Man. That is right. Uh, okay, Ron Hawthorne voted for uh, for Black Panther, uh, but still, 2 to 10. Yes, uh, definitely going. Didn't get the notification. Hey, True Sinister, well, don't worry. We're still in the voting process. You can still join in and have the fun. Uh, we just had Spider-Man 2 versus Black Panther. Spider-Man 2 triumphant. And Spider-Man 2 was a surprise run, and I did it just for base of 12, and it looks like he was correct. Uh, former social justice warrior. Now just V. That's right. He's V. Yeah. All right. And thank you for the likes on this video. Okay, so, all right. So Spider-Man 2, the surprise entrant, the mystery guest. Let's see where Spider-Man 2 fits in. Let's see if this surprise entrant can win the war against civil war captain america trace spider-man 2 where are we voting on this one true sister well a little late for that one pal uh uh hold on real quick place your votes while i just sit here working on stuff just checking my phone uh, uh is maybe ron hawthorne you're just gonna have to find out again maybe i missed your favorite movie uh but hold on uh all right that was Okay, so, oh, oh, okay, great, um, wait, 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 hey, how are you, wait, oh, whoa, whoa, okay, um, I vote for, uh, the former, okay, okay, so, uh, true sister, okay, one vote for, what, uh, Civil War, okay, so, Samurai Productions votes for Civil War, true sister votes for Spider-Man 2, uh, Civil War gets two votes, Spider-Man 2 gets two votes, nope, definitely, Civil War, definitely, V and Fuso, Goes for Civil War. Harry Flynn goes for Civil War. Summer Productions goes for Civil War. Uh, double A. Vote for Jonah, the movie, a.k.a. Spider-Man 2. Three votes for Spider-Man 2. Ooh, okay, looking like a short-lived contest for Spider-Man 2. Uh, Smiley Cats, the Civil War was astounding film. A true piece of cinema and my vote for this round. So that's six points to Civil War. One of the best comic book movies ever. Game Tech says Civil War. Ray DeRazzo, Civil War. Ron Hawthorne, Civil War. Nine votes for Civil War. Three votes for Spider-Man 2. Not looking super good for the wall crawler on this round. Surprise run in, but I think, I think we're we're running. It's time is up. Uh, ten votes for Civil War. Civil War was a better movie. They bring back a really good Spider-Man, and I still like that story. Well, there is a good point. There's Spider-Man in both of them, so Spider-Man is kind of going against himself on this one. And I will say that if you took me back to 2011 and you told me that a Captain America movie would be in the running for this, I would probably laugh in your face. Um, okay, so uh, 10 votes. It looks pretty cut and dry in this way. So it looks pretty cut and dry on this one. Spider-Man 2, thank you for stopping by, but you're out of here. Civil War, now the new reigning champion. So Spider-Man. Captain America 3, Civil War, new reigning champion. So, Civil War has declared war against Spider-Man and won, but Civil War now has to declare war against... Infinity War. So let's see which one of you guys wants to vote for this one. Infinity War versus Civil War. Which one is better? Avengers 3 or Avengers 2.5? As Papa Doc has said in an interview, if I remember correctly. Uh, double A, Mr. Ditkovic. Dikovich would be proud. Uh, you vote for Civil War. Okay, I like the first Captain America movie. Well, statistically, some I know some people did. I actually really didn't care for the first Captain America movie. It was, like, close to being a good movie. Uh, Infinity War! One vote for Infinity War from Game Tech. Uh, you know what would be interesting for this? Maybe uh, doing, like, portrayals of the character Gaulus. Hey, that is possible. We could do that as a judge character, and you guys are the jury. But I gotta find my gavel, which I have no idea where it is. Um, here for a cup of coffee and not even a good one. <laughs> Ouch. It had a good one. Uh, okay, so, um, what just happened? Civil War is better than Infinity War, Sister Sinister. Okay, so one vote for Civil War, one more vote for Infinity War. Harry Flynn votes for Infinity War. Ron Hawthorne votes for Civil War. Wow, this is actually closer than I thought. And by the way, 
Civil War is an oxymoron. Uh, while well, I'm sitting here doing the Richard Nixon pose, uh, Infinity War, because Civil War had a stupid plot. Oh, okay. Uh, so three votes for Infinity War. Another vote from Game Tech for Civil... Uh, for Infi Hold on. Oh, sorry, I just got messed up. Okay, so let's try this again. Um, one vote... For, see, it's doing the other hands. One vote for Infinity War. One vote for Civil War. Two votes. Two votes. Three votes. Five votes. Infinity War because it... it it hit me hard and I enjoyed it. Yeah, same here. Um, time. Uh, mix on this one, but I feel like I'm leaning more towards Infinity War. Okay, so I'll give you that one. V6. You don't like Civil War, was that? You don't think Civil War was that good of a movie, so you pick Infinity War, says Bally. Alright, double A says Civil War. Um, okay, um everything next time i gotta keep the movie titles away from each other that sound similar uh everything i vote for loses sorry hear that buddy uh what i miss uh right now we're doing infinity war versus of uh, uh civil war pick your winner uh don't let the finger count fool you um infinity war is actually winning at seven uh infinity war is miles better why even have this debate well game tech it's apparently happening so um it's not everybody feels that way. At least three people are voting differently. Uh, Civil War was astounding, but comparing it to Infinity War is like Sega <laughs> is as ferocious as a Rod Weiler in Infinity War wins. <laughs> right. uh, eight to three. Eight, eight to three. Um, <laughs> this is Game Tech. Wait, no, I'm sorry. Uh, seven to three. Uh, game Tech uh, voted already. I apologize. Um, Infinity War because it... You know, oh, sorry. Um... So, Dave is not a crook. Oh, I'm not a crook. Um, the movie Gauntlet reminds me of the hardcore title. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of similar similar to that. Uh, Infinity War was bigger, but not better, says True Sinister. Ooh, all right. Um, Infinity War wins uh, my vote. Eight, Infinity War, Civil War has an age that, well, it's, been, it's only been like three and a half years. <laughs> but, um, ouch. <laughs> <laughs> it's been that long too. Um, I, th I think it has, but um, if they had the same budget, they wouldn't be in the same league. I think their budgets were pretty close. Infinity War was a damn setup to the end to end game. Okay, wow, you guys have some, um, you guys have some heated discussions about this one. Um, you have heated discussions about this one, but clearly. Uh, Infinity War 1, um, but I do like the back and forth on this one, so um, I'm going to keep this going for a little bit just so I can get you guys uh, votes out, but with a score of 9 to th nine to 3, it's it's pretty, uh, Infinity War's winning, um, unless unless, uh, unless a lot of people just join in the chat right now and switch their votes and, and vote for a Civil War. Just as there is one of the real ones. The real ones? Real one what? Okay. But True Sinister does raise a question. If a movie is a setup for another movie, is that a strike? Is that a demerit? Or does that not matter? Uh, True Sinister, I didn't feel like that. I also, well, it does have a cliffhanger ending, but still. Uh, but uh, my personal vote is actually for Infinity War. I kind of agree with the criticisms here about uh, Civil War. I like Civil War, um, but it, I... I liked it a lot. Um, I actually thought Civil War suffered from a lackluster ending. I think, I think it kind of ended abruptly. It didn't really, it didn't really have the, it didn't really have the stamp on on the resolution to what happened because it didn't really make anything clear. It just kind of stopped. Like the movie, just I felt like it just kind of stopped. There wasn't a, uh, there wasn't a definitive ending for the movie. For me. Um, but uh, in uh, but Infinity War, on the other hand, well, yes, there was a cliffhanger because it was intended to be a cliffhanger. I kind of don't, you know, I, I let it go. It was it's meant to be that way. Um, and Infinity War to me gave me a very particular feeling that uh, what I didn't get since the original Avengers film, where it felt like the culmination of all these things. It felt like all these guys coming together, and I, I really thought it was nice and straight away. Uh, you know what, Harry Flynn? It's a very weird thing. In the comic book, I was on Captain America's side 100% of the way through. 150% of the way through. Not even a question. But the movie, as we know, Civil War, the movie is very different from the comic book. The plot's, the plot's similar, but it was really more about dealing with Bucky than it was the actual 
uh, Sokovia Accords. Yes, that was the catalyst for it, but it was kind of in the background of it. Uh, it was really more about Bucky, as we saw about the movie in the end. And in that case, I was with Tony all the way. I was like, after everything that happened with Winter Soldier, Tony's in the right. <laughs> you know, it at least let him arrest the guy, Cap. <laughs> Tony, so as far as I was concerned, in terms of dealing with Bucky, Tony was t Tony was in the right. The guy at least needs to go to jail, you know, something. Um, but in terms of the Sokovia Accords, th what's funny about the Sokovia Accords, they like the Superhero Registration Act. They eventually ultimately don't matter, but they matter way less because they briefly mention it, and it doesn't seem to come up. And uh, Granted, we haven't had that many movies left, but it doesn't seem to come up. Uh, but brainwashing, if I don't care, <laughs> true sinister. Like if your friend stabs you while he's drunk, he doesn't get a pass because he was drunk. You know. You know, I I don't I don't care. The guy still needs to go to jail. And in the end, Cap kind of is conciding on him because they froze him in Wakanda, which is essentially putting him back in jail. So it's kind of like, well, Cap really does agree. And that would have been one thing if Cap told, told him, he's like, Tony, please. Like, I get it. He's got to pay for his crimes. I understand that. But just, you know, he's got to stay alive. You, you, you know, just give me a, just give me that. You know, he's my friend. If it was on you, I would do the same thing. And um, not a big deal, but I did kind of wish Cap ended this with uh, ended the movie with telling Tony that he'd be like with the when he sends him the note saying you know I'd be there you know I, other than this one issue I'm still with you until the end of the line. I wish they kind of brought that up, but what it was a little more realistic because they really showed that Cap and Tony really aren't friends. Like they they have a mutual respect for each other and friendly enough, but they really don't like each other, which I thought was kind of interesting. Um, CW is a weaker film than Superman 2, um, I, it, which cut, and I don't know if I agree with that, but yeah. Anyway, we've dwelled on this enough. Uh, taking up for movies and uh, movies and the comic books. Uh, being brainwashed is different than being drunk. I don't care. He still did it. He, if you can't tell me that, if you can't tell me that Bucky isn't definitely dangerous, and as you said, all you need to know is get the right words from a book and all of a sudden he goes he goes total total rogue on you he is without a doubt dangerous he had to be incarcerated or something or like what they actually did with him they took him to wakanda until they could purge him of all that nonsense in his head the point is you can't just let him go you can't just tell you can't just say he's my friend let him run around and play like that's just not the way it works something had to be done so Without a shadow of a doubt, he had to get something done to him. Rehabilitation, imprisonment, whatever. You just can't let him run free. So in that case, Tony is right. Now the choice being brainwashed. I don't care. He's still dangerous. Lose again. Right. Uh, but more than being brainwashed, he was being controlled, to be fair. Either way. Either way. I. It's still. It's still. He's still problematic. Uh, just me, or was Winter Soldier pushed in Winter Soldier and nerfed in Civil War? Yeah, yes, Drew. It's not just you. He was more. Of, he was way less dangerous in subsequent in the subsequent movies and in like Infinity War too. It's he wasn't. He wasn't that big of a presence, like Great Kali. Um, when you put it that way, I'm kind of glad that it happened. Uh, but anyway, so uh, let's move on from this. Um, because I think we, we got the point. And thank you for the likes, by the way. Because the funny thing is, I actually have, uh, in real life, I actually have a friend who feel, who has this, like, um, loyalty mechanism, kind of like Captain America, and I've gotten into, and there is this guy that, um, I can't stand, and he's always defending him. And I use the drunk analogy because it's usually him being drunk. Um, and I can't stand that guy. And we usually have the conversation like me, like, and we usually have the conversation. And I told his wife that I was like, when she asked what's civil war about, and I told him, I'm like, it's really what's going to happen. It's what's going to happen between me and your husband one day, probably over this guy. Um, joke. She laughed. She goes, huh? She goes, that does sound about right. Uh, because I often say, you know, that guy's a problem. And he usually says, he goes, well, he was drunk. What do you, you know, what do you want from him? It's okay. You know? And by the way, everybody hates that guy. It's not just me, too. Um, so, all right. So, with that being said, looks like we are shaking it up again. Civil War. Yeah, out of here.
Infinity War, new winner. Okay, we're getting down to nitty gritty. This is getting down to the end here. We only have a few movies left to go. Um, let's just do it. Um, here is the other big contender. So, Infinity War, meet your new opponents, The Dark Knight. DC getting some representation up in here. Finally, DC movie. This is one of the big ones for sure. Infinity War versus Dark Knight. Which is your favorite? Uh, I meant to say that's why I consider Civil War a weaker film to Spider-Man 2. Oh. Uh, where was Tony in the MCU immensely morally superior to Tony 616? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Tony in the m main comic books has changed a lot since the movie. They, they've done a lot to him. He is typically way off... Tony, like, you could usually tell which side is right in any Marvel conflict until recently. In the comic books, if you just look past on it, any more, uh, any, com any conflict, look at what side Tony is on and just go with the opposite side. Nine times out of ten, that's right. Because Tony's almost always wrong about everything in comic books, only until recently. Uh, Game Tech says can't pick. Uh, Vian Fuso says Dark Knight. Uh, True Sister says Dark Knight. Uh, Game Tech can't pick. Well, you're gonna. Uh, Harry Flynn says Dark Knight. But I love Christian Bale as Batman. Batman. Dark Knight. Did you say sorry? Why are you saying sorry? No sorries. You're allowed to like whatever you like. Uh, uh, Baron, Baron Z, powerful villain from the comic books. Yeah. But Captain America has the problem where a lot of his villains tend to be a little samey, with a few exceptions. But they're mostly just deranged assassins, which I think is cool. But, you know, they're all very same. So they have to kind of switch things up. And I think having a proper soldier as an enemy to soldier to Captain America as a soldier was could have been explored a little bit more. Um, sorry, let me count this again because, yeah. Uh, okay, so... Uh, Dark Knight, Samurai Productions, first vote. Uh, v, Dark Knight, True Sinister, Dark Knight. Uh, Harry Flynn, Dark Knight. Um, Bally, Dark Knight. True Sinister, Dark Knight. Wait, oh, you voted already, you voted already. So that's five for Dark Knight. Dark Knight might win this whole thing. That's what I'm thinking. It's one of the two that I thought was the option. Uh, Justin Lewis, Dark Knight, because it's cinema and not an amusement part. Well, I... We can argue about that later. See, you play, you want you want this war, don't you? You want this argument. Uh, Smiley Cat says Dark Knight was my second favorite combo movie of the time. Second only to V for Vendetta. Oh, really? Uh, ever notice how Alfred said some people want to watch the world burn, and that's exactly what's shown in the Dark Knight poster. It's not the world, but that is interesting. Uh, I can I picked Dark Knight. Okay, so Dark Knight. Wow, Justin Lewis, which is why Dark Knight. Right, sucked ironically. <laughs> you got me with that one. Uh, picking Infinity War because Dark Knight is nothing without Joker. I'm so says Game Tech. Uh, oh, I'm surprised that there isn't more Infinity Love. Yeah, I thought so too. Um, I didn't think Infinity War was going to win this one, but I just thought this was going to be a little closer. It is a strong legacy, I guess so. I'm not wearing hockey pads. Dark Knight, Dark Knight, ten Dark Knight, one. Infinity War. Um, just look at the poses. One Dark Knight is the other's full of colors. Colors, yeah. Like, um, what's that movie? Um, with the big monsters fighting the fighting the robots. Pacific Rim. Uh, you're my friend. He was my friend first. I was your friend. He's my friend. So was I. Okay, so, yes. Uh, Dark Knight, not surprisingly, winning this one. Um, personally, though, I will stop and say that I actually think Infinity War is the better of the two movies. Um, I've mentioned this before, especially when we first did the watch-along of Batman Begins. I actually think Batman Begins is better than uh, Dark Knight. Dark Knight has its problems. I get why there's a coolness factor to it, but there's so much of the movie that doesn't make sense. I also did a video about that on this channel, too. To me, Dark Knight, it's cool, but it doesn't have... It doesn't have... Its plot is kind of thin. It it really doesn't make sense when you hold up. It... Um, it really doesn't hold up for me if you uh, analyze it. I knew it was going to be very popular, and I think it's one of the two movies, maybe three, that's going to win uh, this entire thing just because of how much people like it, but there's so much of it that just doesn't make sense. There's a lot of weird cuts, and like, in terms of editing, there's a lot of problems. I know that's not something anybody cares about, but like the reveal in the, in, in the, conf in the confession room when he starts talking about... It was like, you know, show, don't tell. But what do we do? 
Harvey Dent's been kidnapped and so has Rachel. I felt like there was a scene missing. We just cut straight into the interrogation room and we just get told that, wait, I was like, Harvey Dent was just, there was no visual cue, show, no tell. That's one of the first rules they tell you in movies. They just told you they didn't show you squat. So weird error than choice on that one. The plot makes no sense. Uh, half. Give me half. Give me half just to kill the Batman. Uh, does he kill Batman? No. What are you going to do with your half of the money? I'm only burning my half. He didn't kill Batman. That's what you paid him for. Why are you giving him half the money in the first place? Because he got Lau back? Wait a minute. You knew where Lau was. That wasn't what you paid him for. And if you just want, and if you didn't get Lau, if Lau just stayed in prison, you would have been fine. And it's like, well, they would have charged him with the Rico and taken everything. Well, he didn't know that. The gangsters didn't know that, now did they? All right. Do you think Dark Knight Rises would have been better film if he lived? I don't mind Dark Knight Rises. I know people dump on it, and it's like I get it. Believe me, it has the same Nolan plot inconsistencies too. But I think it's a better film. I actually don't mind it. I want to meet you one day and discuss the whole Dark Knight with you. We're, we're on talking now. Look, I get. I know Justin Lewis is going to defend this movie, and again, I still like Dark Knight. It's just there's a lot of logistical holes in it that make really no sense. It's just very cool. It's, there's a lot of cool things to it. It's like Star Trek Into Darkness. It it counts on you liking the lore, it counts on you knowing the characters, and it's pretty cool. And by the way, I really do like Star Trek Into Darkness. But Star Trek 2009 is a much better movie as a movie than Into Darkness. Into Darkness is just cool. Uh, I, yeah, I, I'm voting for Infinity War. Infinity War has a coherent plot, it makes sense, it gets set up. They establish the rules pretty quickly. Um, and the Two-Face thing makes no sense whatsoever. Two-Face goes into it straight up knowing that Joker's is the reason why Rachel's not around. The love of his life, Rachel. And then Joker's only way of talking out of this is, do I really look like a guy with a plan? Oh no, you're right, I'm gonna flip a coin now to determine it. And uh, oh well, the coin says uh, no, so you know what, I'm going after Gordon now, because Gordon has plans. It's his fault. It's like, what does that doesn't make any sense? It makes no sense at all. <laughs> at all. Why Harvey Dent decides, well, I'm going to go go ahead and kill Gordon and his family now. Why? Because they have plans? That's the only reason for it. Because Joker said, hey, look, do I really look like a guy playing Gordon's got plans? Think about him. It's so dumb. It, the whole, and yes, I, I swear, I like this movie anyway. But it's so dumb. None of the logic holds up. None of the fans. Uh, you want to see my disappearing pencil trick? Uh, like Dark Knight Rises better than Batman Begins. All right, Harry, and you're you're fine to do that. Um, you know, t t but please tell me if tell me if you don't at least see what I'm talking about for this. All this stuff happens in Dark Knight, and it's like, oh, the movie's so good. It's like what? none of it makes sense. Here, uh, if any war makes sense. Here's a bad, and yeah, is it nonsense and fiction? Sure, but the logic, the science, the rules hold up. Joker gets at it by saying he's like a dog in cars who let him off the leash. Oh yeah, so you killed my fiance. Oh, you're like a dog chasing cars. Oh, sorry. I didn't realize that's why you did it. I'm going to debate you on this movie one day. Well, hey, now's your chance. Plot holes. It, but it's, see, like Infinity Wars, is it fictional nonsense? Yeah, ooh, I got magic space rocks. Yes, but at least they established it. This is the rule of what this magic space rock does. This is how it goes. The movie follows its own sets of laws, where the character motivations, that has nothing to do with a fictional hypothetical universe. It just doesn't, it doesn't have any sense. How did Two-Face survive the car crash? That I'm not even worried about. Because that I'll, that I'll type up. Nonsense. That was obviously a deranged and broken man. He was... See, if he woke up out of that coma, refusing skin grafts, went crazy, and said, I'm just killing Gordon, fine. But he wasn't deranged. He went into it v openly wanting to shoot the Joker in the face and saying, this is your fault. And within seconds of him just saying, do I really look like a guy with a plan? He goes, oh no, you got a point. You know what? Flip a coin. Plans? That's what got Rachel killed. I had plans like Gordon. Man, I was so lost, Joker. You're right. It wasn't your gun barrel, it wasn't your explosive and kidnapping that you did, that I remember you did, and I was going to blame you for a full 10 seconds earlier before you said, do I look like I, a guy with a plan? Oh, okay, now I changed the name. So if he came into it not having his head on right, sure, he was fully there until Joker made one stupid sentence and flipped him completely. Uh, now I want to 
want to change my answer. It's not that good of a movie. I, I knew this was going to... I knew this has a good chance to win, but it's not that good of a movie. I'm sorry if you feel otherwise. It really isn't. Vince's nickname was Two-Face. Yeah, because, like, that's, like, a nickname for backstabbing, not for being, like, crazy. Uh, Spider-Man 2 was a more coherent plot. Thank you, Double A. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. At least Infinity War had less holes in plot. Yeah. Yeah, it's all, like, science fictional comic book nonsense, but its its rules fits within its own universe. They show now frustration or anything. Um, I love the Joker wants money in the beginning and doesn't care. Care which way he goes and kill Batman. Yeah, again, and again, they offered him half the money to kill Batman, which... He goes, so here we go. We have to hire the clown. Hire the clown. Kill Batman. Is Batman still alive? Yes, here's your half of the money. No one questions this. Nobody questions this. Uh, it had less CGI than Infinity War. That is true. Uh, it established early on that the movie that Harvey Dent had some sort of bipolar disorder. So I'm going off of what makes more sense. There's a difference between... Bi Crazy does not mean illogical all, in every case. And so... Where did they show that he has faulty reasoning? You can try to justify... You can only justify the crazy card so long. Because... And that's what something people do. If you really like a movie and just want to defend it, you can always just say, well, the character was crazy. That's why they did something that made no sense. And even if that was the case... Case... Again, why did they give Joker half the money? It didn't make any sense. They, he, he, was, he said, pay me to kill Batman. Half of the money you have, he didn't do it, and they gave it to him anyway. It do, doesn't hold up either. And the show versus don't... And it, this is film nerdy, and I understand that if you, nobody cares about this, but show don't tell. They just told you that Rachel and Harvey then is there. Again, I swear I do like this movie. I really do like Dark Knight. It is a good movie, but I'm just saying... Plus also the end with the cell phone thing, I just always not see. The thing is, that people, and the, my other issue with it is everyone says, oh, Nolan's movies are so gritty and realistic, but then they always end some sort of stupid technological advice that doesn't make sense and very much clearly show that Nolan has no understanding of, of, of science or he's assuming that nobody else does. Uh, here's the microwave emitter. We've been pumping this chemical under the water for weeks. Uh, wait. So no one boiled water or took a shower or anything like that within this time? How come the fear gas hasn't gone off? You've been pumping the supply for weeks. And furthermore, if you shove the microwave a minute and had it running through Gotham, there's water in people's bodies. Wouldn't that just blow everybody up in the... Wouldn't that just kill everybody in the begin with? And then the stupid cell phone thing. And also in the end of Dark Knight Rises, sometimes it's a neutron bomb, sometimes it's a nuclear bomb, sometimes, you know, it's all different kinds of bombs. And all those bombs do very different things. Anyway, Rachel was annoyed. <laughs> yeah, maybe, see, that was it. That, that should have been an end. Goes, you killed my Rachel. Well, she was really annoying. You have a point. <laughs> <laughs> maybe Dark Knight stands as, uh, are more, Dark Knight fans are more annoying than MCU fans. Stands? Stands? Eh? Yeah. Rises, cool Bane, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, too bad Dark Knight, yeah, Bane was, doing was in. Harvey was proven that he was capable of logical reason. Hit me. When, Justin? Do you work for DC? Are you related to Bob Kane or something? <sighs> Justin Lewis, I'm not remotely surprised you're going this way, and it's fine. Stan is hip-hop turn for Mark or fanboy. Oh, thank you for educating me. And yes, agreed. As I said, I still like it. It's just not flawless. It is not the pinnacle of comic book movie cinema like so many people herald it is. Stan, oh, all right, now I get it. Dark Knight has the better villain, but the worst hero. Does it have the better villain? It definitely has the worst hero, I'll give you that. Rachel and Harvey are kidnapped by the crooked cops. Both our families are in the hospital. That Joker is blowing up. Yeah, they told you. Did they show it? And I know that's a film nerd thing. That's something they teach you when you work in movies. If you don't know about that or care, fine. I'm not holding you to that. I'm just saying it's like a one-on-one rule and they just blatantly violated it. But it's cinema, not an amusement park. You see the world burning gas, yeah. All right, Rises was a mashup of Nightfall, No Man's Land, and Dark Knight Returns. Yeah, um, Dark Knight was a mashup of Long Halloween and um, Year Two, 
No, wait, something else. I don't know. But, you know, but uh, Nolan movies uh, combined multiple elements, like Batman Year One and all that, which is really cool. I have no problem with that. I like Batman 89 more than Dark Knight sometimes. Hey, that's okay, Double A. Where's Stan from Wrestling YouTubers? Oh, well, I'm getting it through YouTube myself. Uh, they did the show the cops being... They, they did show the cops being crooked. It was very subtle. No. Show them kidnapping Harvey and Rachel. That's not what I said. That is a completely different thing. They told you that they were kidnapped, that they never made it home. Gordon walks into the room and tells you. The rule is show, don't tell. Keep trying, Justin Lewis. Keep trying. I don't think either Dark Knight or Batman 89 are the best Batman movies. The honor goes to Massive Phantasm. I, Bally, that's not here, but I did consider it. Um, Batman Begins, to me, was great. Batman Begins is better than, uh, Batman Begins is my favorite Batman movie. Easily. Suppose he could turn Gotham's lightest night into the darkest night. How? Because he told them, does it look like I got a plan? <laughs> wow, <laughs> it was that easy. Uh, the, the stand was from Eminem song, I guess I learned something today. Well, that's what they said, yeah. Uh, Michael Keane was so much better in and out of the suit compared to Bale. I disagree with that. It's Bale all the way for me. Um, he, Justin Lewis, I might regret this. Who's your favorite Batman actor? Live action. Remove that he could. Um, Michael Keane. Um, I also see people using wrestling terms when they're talking about things. Yeah, they do. Um, they showed Harvey being kidnapped with the crooked cops after Joker was captured. No, they didn't. No, they didn't. They 100% did not. Keenan was a comedian. That is true. Batman Begins is a very solid movie. He made dent into a psycho. Yeah, I know. But how did he do that? By just telling him, do I look like a guy with a plan? But also, how did he make him a psycho? Because, remember, Justin Lewis pointed out that they showed he also had issues beforehand. So maybe he really did make him a psycho. He was always one before. You can't have it both ways. Either one's right or the other's right. Okay, so uh, let's move on. My tirade is over. Infinity War, you lost. I knew you were going to, but whatever. Uh, just live with it. Okay, Infinity War is out, and Dark Knight is here. But let's see if Dark Knight can hold up. But you know what? I added something. It's not going to win. But I added something just for Base of 12, and I definitely don't like them as much as I like you. So because you said your favorite movie, uh, or because you said you really like V for Vendetta, and that's your favorite movie... Booyah! V for Vendetta, now going against Dark Knight. It's got no shot. But you know what? It was another one I was playing, but I didn't incorporate it. I'm incorporating it now. V for Vendetta up for a block. Cast your votes now. Let's just see how this goes. Your Batman actor was the guy who played the Vulture in Spider-Man Homecoming. <laughs> said no one ever. <laughs> My friend said Tiny Lister character in Dark Knight was supposed... Oh, I didn't. I did not know that, but that's interesting. Uh, what ruins Batman because for me is how uh, they wanted Scarecrow and how Batman loved... Show Which contradicts how he refused to take a life. I don't really think it does, because I kind of get it. I've, I've actively thought that people should have that mentality, too. Okay, so, here we go. Uh, um, it was the most common book Yeah, Dark Knight, Dark Knight, V for Vendetta. Yeah, Bailey. This is where it's going to go. Uh, I associate with... Oh, the comic book came out way before that. Uh, Dark Knight, okay, Justin Lewis. Oh, now it's two DC movies against each other, by the way. V for Vendetta isn't really DC. But anyway, so now Justin Lewis has got none but positive things to say. Oh, V for Vendetta. What? V for Vendetta's got three votes. Dark Knight, Dark Knight. Okay, V for Vendetta actually came in with chance. Okay, so three to five. Maybe V's got a shot? I will laugh so hard if he wins. I will just crack up. I will, I will, I will, I cannot stop laughing. I will just, I will, <laughs> Dark Knight, as I said, this is coming down to Dark Knight and blank. We'll get to blank momentarily. V for Vendetta says Molly Cat isn't just a comic book movie, it's a dystopian take on right-wing values and holds up to this day, Chancellor Sutler. Really? 
I kind of feel... Oh, never mind. I'm not going to get into it. Okay, but V for Vendetta has another vote on this one. It is a combo. See, my issue with V for Vendetta is it's very different from the combo. It says the same... I loved V for Vendetta. I did an episode on this channel about it. But uh, Alan Moore actually didn't care for the movie, and I hear his point. I think you can like both, and I do, but I, but my, I do wish we got the movie version, because Alan Moore pointed out that V for Vendetta is a very... It's a very American take on the situation. It really has to do with like American issues and changes everything into being what V is. It's really not a because it has nothing to do with the with the political message of the comic book. It just has to do with the message of like American like uh, uh, issues instead. Um, okay, so um, the only good movie based on Alan, hey Bally, you don't want to upset somebody. Um, this is V for, V, voting for, <laughs> V here for Dark Knight. Okay, well, hold on. This is actually tighter than I thought it would be, so let's go ahead. Uh, again, I guess the run-ins are doing pretty well. Okay, so, Dark Knight, Dark Knight, oh, Dark Knight, Dark Knight, V for Vendetta, Dark Knight, V for Vendetta, V for Vendetta, Dark Knight, Dark Knight. V for Vendetta. Dark Knight. V for Vendetta. Okay, six to five. This is actually pretty close. I prefer Michael Keaton over Bale. At least he could do the Batman voice. Um, okay. Well, six to five. Actually, this is a lot closer than I thought. Hey there, Anthony Manzano. Uh, it's been a long time since I've seen V for Vendetta. Uh, I saw it. <gasps> uh, vote six to six, says Mia Lee. I actually watch V for Vendetta, or at least I tried to watch V for Vendetta every 5th of November. Because remember, remember, the 5th of November. Or I watch it around that time. Six, six, double eight votes for V for Vendetta, seven? No. Could the run and take down Dark Knight? This is impossible. There's no way. Unless my, unless my rant against the movie kind of helped. This is closer than I expected. V's winning. It's seven to six. Wow, everybody's jumping in now. Okay, so jump in. The score right now is 7 for V and 6 for Dark Knight. Uh, best comic book movie in my... Whoa, 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 whoa. Anthony, that's not how this game works. You're voting right now. Vote for V for Vendetta or Dark Knight. And Infinity War, where were you just moments ago? Double A erase this vote. First vote. Recount just to make sure. Okay. We'll do. We'll do. Um, oh, okay, so Dark Knight, V for Vendetta. Uh, Dark Knight, V for Vendetta. V for Vendetta, Dark Knight, Dark Knight. Uh, movie based on Alan Moore book. This is V voted for uh, Dark Knight. Okay, so five, six, five, six. That's not true. It's impossible. Um, okay, five, six to five in vo uh, v, yes, like I'm drunk juice in Dark Knight. Okay, six to six. Anthony Manzano makes six to six. Okay, tie score uh, with double oh, with, um, double H cha uh, double H change. Okay, so six to six. Um, I'd have to give it to whoever votes next. Um, uh, Harry and Ronan. Well, if you happen to name a movie that just so happens to be one of the ones I already have loaded up, then I might be able to do it. But if it's not one of the ones I have loaded up, but remember. Don't pick something obvious, because we still have more to go. So there's a good chance that if you pick an obvious one, it's going to be here anyway. Dave tie-break. You don't want me to tie-break this one. <laughs> I was going to say, you Batman fans do not want me tie-breaking this one. I'll tell you right now. Um, I'll give it I'll give it another I'll give it another two minutes. If we don't get a tie-break, I will vote. And I will tell you right now, I am voting for V. Um, so yeah, I'm look because I'm right now. It says I've been streaming for 68 minutes. When it gets to 70 minutes, if nobody, if we don't get a new vote, a new vote for the tiebreaker, I'm voting. Um, I'm voting, and I'm taking V. I'm just gonna tell you right now. So 
you got 120 seconds to see if and someone new votes. Because if not, the the Dark Knight, the Batman is going down. Uh, and not only that, is V not a better vigilante than Batman? Let's also throw that out there too. Let's also put this out there. Who is more effective? Who is more effective? as a vigilante crime fighter. Who accomplished more? All I'm gonna say is years of ineffective crime fighting from Batman with a revolving door to his Arkham Asylum or the man who single-handedly took down the corrupt organization. Just gonna throw this out there. So as a superhero, which one's more effective? Just gonna throw that out there. I don't need to flip a coin. I know my answer. It's a vote. It's as fair as can possible. You're just saying this because you ain't home. I'm just saying this because of you want Dark Knight to win. I am being fair. It's voted. All day, baby. All day, baby. Right now, 6-6. Six six. I cannot believe this is happening. I have thoroughly underestimated the run-ins. I almost feel like throwing in every all the movies I had up here just to see maybe I was surprisingly wrong. That's a coin. Yeah, that's right. You you didn't convince... You didn't... Uh, you didn't... You didn't tell me... Well, you see, you have plans. Uh, that's why bad things happen to you. Hey, please add the crow. <laughs> um, that, that was not on the block. I didn't think anybody was going to vote for that. Uh, wrestling editor Adam says Dark Knight. Uh, throwing the mic down. Okay, uh, let's not push Batman in the vigilante superhero again. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Who's the better superhero? All right. Uh, just under the wire, wrestling editor Adam, Dark Knight wins. V, oh man, I was not looking at the clock, but V, sorry. Uh, Valiant effort. Dark Knight just took you down by one, which I cannot believe happened. Um, good for you. Good for you. You, you fought well. Um, now, let's get to the part where... Let's just get down to the nitty gritty. Dark Knight, your next opponent is going to be uh, an anticlimactic win for Dark Knight. But Dark Knight, let's see. Well, you took down the run in of V for Vendetta, even though you probably shouldn't have. Uh, let's see how you do against Miles Morales into the Spider Verse. Only animated feature, unless you want to count all the CGI in the other movies. Only animated feature on this list into the Spider Verse. Miles Morales going against the Dark Knight. Which one is the best? comic book movie vote now dark knight or into the spider man's screw everyone who trollishly voted for v wow well, some people can't take it you're making me look dave is making do i look like a guy with a plan into the new martha line it's such a stupid line true sinister goes for dark knight Ooh, shoot ha <laughs> i got you double a <laughs> if you want someone votes for into the spider verse spider man spider verse Spider-Verse, Spider-Verse, Dark Knight. Uh, it's okay for Saturday Night Cartoon, ouch. Uh, Into the Spider-Verse says Samurai Productions. Wow, this is not looking good for Batman. I think my Batman tirade might have served something. <laughs> wow, 6-2. to two. Well, Dark Knight did come back from before, so uh, let's see, 6-2. to two. Uh, Still got plenty of votes left, 6-2. to two. Wow. I did not think it was going this way. 6-2 to two, Spider-Verse. Uh, for the record, this was one of the other movies I thought had a chance. Uh, True Sinister, Throne Shade. Yeah. That's Bat that's Batman fans in general for you. Justin Lewis, should I, uh, I don't know if you're still here, but should I just generally assume? If you're still here, should I just assume Justin Lewis is voting for? Uh, now that I've had time to actually think it over and get rid of my childhood nostalgia, Spider-Verse gets the vote because it's a better film overall. 7 to 2, Double Ace's Dark Knight. Everything about Spider-Verse was perfect. Okay, 7 to 3, Dark Knight not looking good. Um, and I think I'm, I like Miles Morales way more as a character. He's a much more fun character for sure. Okay, um, 7 to 3, this is not looking good for Dark Knight. And um, I'm not sure, vote for Batman the Dark Knight. Okay, so... Uh, Oh, Spider-Man. Okay, so Nigel uh, tightens this race up a little bit. Um, okay. Whew. Okay, Jakiva says into the Spider-Verse. Okay, so that brings us to eight. Justin Lewis says, wow, nine. Justin Lewis does not vote for Dark Knight. Okay, so uh, Spider-Verse is up to nine. 
Dark Knight Mia Lee makes it five, so nine to five. Dolly Parton song and movie. Um, nine to five, Spider Verse versus Dark Knight. Wow. Ooh. I might have to call this one. I might got my wish and Batman might be out after all. Um, nine to six. Um, because I, I actually wanted to see this come down between two movies. Um, this was not one of them. And the weird thing is, the two movies I actually think it was going to come down to, as I said, Spider-Verse was the one I was on the fence about. I wasn't sure. It might, that's why I kept saying two to three. This was the maybe three. Um, the two I thought it was going to come down to, the funny thing is, I'm actually, I like both movies, but I don't love either of them. Neither one of them is my favorite. Um, Spider-Verse... Spider-Verse says wrestling animator, so 10 for Spider-Verse. Anthony Manzano, didn't you vote already? Yeah, you did. Okay, so 10, 10 to 5. True Sinister, uh, we didn't troll vote some of us. The Valley, no, no, don't, don't bother fighting. It, they just can't help it, all right? There are certain there are certain types of fans who refuse to believe. How do you think I feel about all the comments I get on my favorite Mike Workers list? when it comes to The Rock being number 10. Everyone swears that there must be some sort of secret reasoning why I put him down there at number 10 and he's not number one. They don't even acknowledge, they think I hate him because he's number 10. I was like, you do realize he's on the list, right? But no, there are so many people who can't wrap their brains around the idea that people have different opinions. Batman fans are just like that. Eve Even Dinner was a Weird Sin City tier old average film. Okay. But other people think differently. Uh, Spider Man and uh, Spider Verse and Spider Man 2 are my favorite Spidey movies. They. Well, I like Homecoming too. Well, True Sister, but this one's saying. Um, so if you don't want to be like one of those rock fans, just realize some people just think differently than you. As Desiree once sang, others take a different view. My, oh my. Ron Hawthorne, you get that. You were there. You might be the only one who gets it, but, you know, everyone else. If you're old enough to know that song, good for you. <laughs> I assume Ron is the only other person my age. Um, I don't want to say Dark Knight is the O word, but I think, oh, I, I don't want to say it either. But we're both thinking it. But I think it can choose as <laughs> it can be choose as the best, if not worst lane reason. All right, The Rock says really weird stuff. I, it doesn't wrestle particularly well. But well, that's not the point. But yeah, um, Dark Knight is a superhero movie of the two thousands. That's true. Spider Man is newer, and I really enjoyed. Yeah, that's right. Newer is better, isn't it? I can't believe this. You voted against a DC movie. Spider-Man Far From Home, Homecoming, Spider-Verse, The Amazing Spider-Man, or you, you're just naming all the Spider-Man movies? Um, Ho Far From Home was eh to me. Amazing, Sp uh, Amazing Spider-Man, both of them were not good by my book. Um, Homecoming, Spider-Man 2, and Into the Spider-Verse are the top three for me. The original Raimi Spider-Man is like good for its time, but it's, like, it's kind of hokey and doesn't really hold up. Could all... Russell Bender Rock. Well, yeah, that, that's not the question, True Sinister, but yeah, okay, so um, with a score of 10 to 5, I'm getting ready to call this uh, Dark Knight. Uh, surprisingly, I didn't get to see my showdown between movies. Um, Dark Knight, you, sir, are out of here. Uh, into the Spider Verse. Now, Spider Verse, now it's time to go against the other movie that I actually thought was going to take this whole thing down. So, Into the Spider Verse, Miles Morales, you need to contend with. Oh, wait, hold on, I gotta move this over. Uh, Spider-Verse, Miles Morales, you are contending with how do you do against the end game? Avengers and game. Spider-Verse and game. Both movies. Which one is the best time to vote? Let's see what you guys got here. Oh, by the way, Dark Knight is not... Uh, you said, don't want to conjure that anger. You know how certain you you know how those DC guys are. Uh, you should throw in and besides Justin Lewis, no one said it. We may have thought it, you may have heard it, and it might be true, but none of us thought, but none of us said it. Lego Batman, I did not throw in Lego Batman. <laughs> one vote for Endgame. I, I didn't see Lego Batman. I'm sorry, Avengers Endgame. 
<laughs> so just as damn badly goes with Spider Verse. Yeah, don't waste sweat and bullets now. Uh, game Tech goes with Endgame. Uh, Center of Productions goes with Endgame. Love Spider Wars, but Endgame says. I can't say your name. Uh, Spider Man, uh, Spider Verse gets uh, two votes. At least Dark Knight uh, beat Infinity War. That why you gotta bring up old stuff, Harry. Uh, best vigilante is the Punisher. Um, craziest. I don't know if he's the most effective. Uh, Lego Batman was great. Didn't see. It. I'm not opposed to it. I actually think it looks funny. I just never got around to it. Um, I never felt so ridiculously happy in a movie until I saw Endgame. Okay. Uh, Endgame had too many plot holes for me to pick. Into the Spider Verse, it's weird when the multiverse movie has less plan. <laughs> this is two like multi things, but yeah. So Spider, uh, uh, there you go. Um, Harry goes with Endgame six to three. Uh, standalone, I like more. Uh, I'm more likely to choose. Well, you're more likely to choose in the standalone. But Ron Hawthorne, what are you choosing? Spider Verse is Wrestle Kingdom and it came as modern WrestleMania. <laughs> Ouch, good pimples. Um, Double A says Spider Verse. Did you vote already? Okay, so, um, it's also my daughter's favorite. Aww. Uh, Spider Verse for AA, Spider Verse for, um, Wrestling Editor Adam. What do you. Hi, Adam. What, what wrestling do you edit? Uh, Spider Verse. Oh, the O word drops in. Um, vote for Spider Verse 6 to 6. Ties it up. You know it's bad when the old word's getting involved. Um, is there a yelling emoji? I would use it right now. Good for you, buddy. Ron Hawthorne goes with Spider Verse 726. 7 to 6. Spider Verse beats Endgame. This, yeah, I thought it was going to come down to Endgame and Dark Knight, personally speaking. You're going for Into Spider versus Mia Lee. Eight to six. Eight to six. I really don't think Spider Verse. Okay. Uh, we'll see. But again, this is my problem with the O word because it just comes down to opinion. I think it is. I think it is O word. I think it's not O word. It's a good movie. It's good. It is not O word. It's good, but it's not that good O word. No, I think it's the appropriate level of good O word. Not O word. I think it's not the appropriate level of good O word. See, you see how ridiculous the argument normally is? It's over now. Uh, 8 to 6, it's... Eh, 8 to 6, it's probably over, but we're pretty close. Uh, but uh, both movies are actually very good and has compelling stories with less plot holes. Opinion is an O word. Yes, that is also an O word. And uh, yes. Uh, people are actually voting Spider-Verse over Endgame. Dude! Just to be clear, in my opinion, no. Um, Endgame is is a better movie than Spider Verse. Uh, it's close. It's not by a lot, but it is. I do think Endgame is the better movie. And I have like a seething this. I have a seething anger shark swimming for Endgame because it was ruined for me on the wrestling channel. So I get like I do get a bit of angry, and I also think Endgame. As I said earlier, Endgame and Dark Knight is where I thought it would come down to, and I'm not the biggest fans of either of them. I like them. But I don't love them. I think they're just good. I don't think either of them is great. Endgame has way too many plot holes. It's the same thing like I have my issues with Dark Knight. There's a lot of Endgame that makes no sense. And I think Infinity War is by far superior than Endgame. It's not even close to me. Endgame makes no sense in a lot of ways. Um, as I said, Infinity War, hey, you have a magic space rock that does this. Here's your rules. But in Endgame, it's like, okay, you can't change the past because of reasons. But then, okay, going forward... Um, Captain America's here old, but you can't change the past. So, uh, it's like a pyramid. Super. Okay, so why judge? Okay, 8 to 6. Uh, currently in the chat. Yeah, 8 to 6. 15 now, 8 to 6. Come on, guys, people are free to have an opinion. Oh, no, that's not... Yes, you're right, but that's not how the internet works. No, people are actually voting. Yeah. Oh, Spider-Verse, another vote. Uh, 9 to 6. Uh, fluctuating here to... They changed my vote. I'm going with Spider-Verse. 10 to 6, um, I can't believe this is happening. Um, Sp apparently, unlike the Dark Knight, I actually think I talked to people in this by comparing it. Um, actually, no, I was just smacked on game. Um, okay, well, uh, Spider-Verse, you take down Avengers Endgame. You 
are not the winner yet. We got one more. My person. So while it, I did think it was going to come down to the town to two, two maybe three, and the also ran the the one I wasn't expecting to to win is actually the one that won. It's not done yet because you have to contend against my favorite comic book movie of all time. I don't think it has a chance, but I think it is easily the best superhero movie ever made, and. I think it's got a great story, the plot sound, it's got a fantastic plot, it was well done, and it was thoroughly, thoroughly um, unexpected. It was a huge pleasant surprise, and it was done, executed perfectly. There is nothing, I, it's, it's, enough words, it's my favorite comic book movie ever, Winter Soldier. Captain America Winter Soldier going against Into the Spider-Verse, let's see how you do. I saved it for less. I say the best for last. It's my personal favorite, but I want to see where we're going. One more. H. Voltron is not here. <laughs> so, there you go. My opinion, lemons are the sweetest. I, I would see a doctor. <laughs> Get your taste buds checked out. <laughs> okay, so Winter Soldier versus Into the Spider Verse. As I said, it's my actual favorite comic book movie of all time. All right, Winter Soldier. Ooh, two votes for Winter Soldier. I'm happy. One vote for Spider Verse, of course. Uh,. This is tough. Spider Verse, yeah. To me, Winter Soldier is is beyond a shadow of a doubt the greatest. Spider Verse, but not by much. Great cap, best cap movie ever. Well, is that mean you're voting? Okay, you vote for Winter Soldier. Winter Soldier, Smiley Cat. Thank you. Three to three. Uh, you don't want this coming down in tie because I've made it very clear where I'm voting. Uh, three to three. Uh, into Spider Verse, yeah. Winter Soldier! Thank you, Harry Flynn. Okay, so it ties it up. I love both movies. Still vote for Spider-Verse. Okay, five. All right. Let's see where Winter Soldier can do. Five. This is actually tight. Um, and I think there was... Um, I think there was a YouTube channel um, that actually got Winter Soldier was actually still voted number one, which thoroughly surprised me. Uh, was Spider-Man and Spider-Verse 6. Uh, the fight scenes, the story, the one-liners, Winter Soldier had it for me. Hey, dude, you don't gotta sell me on it, uh, but yeah, sell the audience on it, because uh, uh, Spider-Verse is in the lead by two. Let's see if we can get anybody else uh, getting on our side here. Um, okay, so, um, okay, Spider-Verse in the lead with six. Um, Dave, you are the man because I love Winter Soldier extremely much. Me too. If any was my favorite comic book movie, followed by Into Spider-Verse and Endgame. Yeah, well, there you go. Uh, I'm going with Spider-Verse. All right, seven. Uh, the little engine that could... Now I feel like just throwing a bunch of the other also-rans I have on my list against Spider-Verse just, just to see what happens now. Because apparently I did not gauge the audience as well as I thought here. Uh, so, Winter Soldier is one of the best uh, true, uh, MCU movies. It is the best MCU movie as far as I'm concerned. Uh... Well, I really like Guardians too. Guardians, as you can see, not represented. I didn't even think to put them on. All right, where's Justin Lewis at? Yeah, where is everybody? Did Justin Lewis vote? Oh, Endgame is too long. That's a fair criticism, and I agree with that. So it's just, that was the last thing I think I saw. Just as it was. I agree. It would be interesting to just name a movie and we'll carry on playing. Why not? Well, I have... I had 20 lined up. 20 lined up. And I've only given you 12, so there's like, I think, 8 more. Um, I voted. No, I know you did. Um, anybody? Anybody else? <laughs> Are we done? Anyone else want to vote? You said Justin Lewis is still on here. Where's Justin Lewis? Where's that wrestling editor guy? We're still close. It's been fun. I gotta head out later, Dave. Let's see a smiley cat. Uh, try coming on to the wrestling channel every once in a while if you want. Uh, if you don't like wrestling, come on, Dave. Let's have the eight more. Uh, can I get one more vote? It's eight. It's eight. Uh, come on, just, just just one more. Well, Spider Verse, didn't you count because I said I vote Spider Verse? You didn't count because I said Age of Ultron. I did count 
you. A gauntlet match isn't a good way to determine this gauntlet, in my opinion. You should try a bracket style. It's just easier this way. It's just like significantly easier for me this way. Alright. Well, my vote counts, so. It's actually by a more narrow margin. Eight, two, five. Alright. I didn't think it was going to win, but here we go. Your winner is Into the Spider-Verse. Voted the greatest comic book movie of all time, according to you, the members of the Know-It-All Nation, in the Gauntlet match. Um, if you're interested in doing a round two of this, um, yeah, double A, everyone's kind of leaving in drones at this stuff. Vote for Winter Soldier! Okay, we're up to six. Well, nice try. Well, um, voting in game. That's not the way the vote works. Uh, what? We're about to pull. Well, it's not as fun doing that live. We can do that like on a Twitter poll, but that would be boring. This is this is the fun way to do it. Uh, Spider Verse is in run. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so Spider Verse has been voted as the greatest comic book movie of all time by you, the members of the all, all Nation. If you guys are interested in doing this again, let me know. As we remember the last time for the worst comic book movie, that was Catwoman. Um, so you know what? I'm just gonna. Everybody seems to be filing out of here. I think everyone's satisfied with this. But let me know if you're not watching this live. Let me know in the comments whether you want to do this again. Some other movies. Uh, what some other things you want to do? Yes, this was fun. It always is fun. Let's vote for the truth sensor. You're automatically wrong. Um, into the Spider-Verse. Eh, well, yes. Congratulations. So thank you for being here. Please set your notifications and make sure you are following me on the Twitter to make sure you know these things. And as always,